All right, can I pick up the map? Unfortunately, you guys have been ambushed by goblins hiding within the tree line. Oh, oh fuck. Shit. <laughs> so, no, it's, God damn it, Harkin. No, Patrick. Lee, you got any good shit? Now was the chance to, that was the time to bring it out. All right. What's like your most damaging spell? Sadly, I'm I'm more of a healer, so. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'm going to. Whose turn is it after my turn? My uh, last Zach. But I'm. Okay. Yeah, I got a roll for whatever. Use cure wounds on Vaz. Okay. So, so thankfully, because he's right next to you, you can touch him. So, okay. So do I click the heal button? Yeah, so just hit to heal him and let's see how much... Oh, wait. You know, oh, I probably shit. should have not been Vaz you healed because he's bleeding out on the ground and... Why might not? have actually been better. Well, Karkin's too far away because you'd have to face the opportunity. No, I want to heal I want to heal Vaz so he can get back into battle. Okay, well, Zach has 15 wounds now, so he's not as bad off. All right, so, like, it. one more hit and I go back on the ground, right? Yeah, and make sure you mark the spell slot. Well, no, you used up all your hit points. You're just more stable now, so things aren't as scary for you. So wait, is that the only thing I can do during my turn? You can move, but the goblins will get opportunity attacks on you. Wow, it's a hard battle. Mm -hmm. It's kind of okay, like so four people, and uh, the goblins were all super good on their ambush. How yeah. do you fuck goblins? God damn. As my turn right. ends, I, I shout to Vaz, You can do it! <laughs> Alright. Oh, Zach actually gets a success, so... You just need two more of those, Zach, and you're back in the battle. Wait, I thought he I thought he healed me so I would get up. No, 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 he didn't heal you enough to get up. You're on 15 wounds and your health oh. is 15. Yeah, you're like just Patrick. one away. Patrick. Patrick. Okay. So, the goblins, now taking care of Vaz move to deal with Petrick because they see him casting magic and the first goblin misses he whiffs his shot so the third goblin it's just a shank fest so the third goblin now moves in he's going to try to shank you with his shimtar uh, he also wait the hell okay I need to put the modifiers on these there we go let's try that again he misses again because you got some beast armor and finally the last goblin Rushing forward towards you. Oh boy, that's a crit right there. Mm, on who? On Petrick. So this is a critical hit. So are we are we all down right now? We're about to find out. Oh shit, I rolled that twice. Uh, so that's a two. It's just a critical hit, so there's no effect. Alright. So, so do I have to change my hit points or something? Yeah, you're about to. You're so the goblin gets to roll two dice on you, oops, uh, and he gets the damage modifier of plus two. So I'm dead. Yep, you're down. That's that's eleven right there. Oh All right, guys, it was, a fun, it was a fun game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't ask. Karkin's still here. He can bring it around. So, Karkin, he goes after the first goblin. We need Nick. We need him. Boy, do we. I should have made two characters. Uh, okay, yeah, he... He, wait, <laughs> he, he whiffs it. Wait, I'm not even... Oh, shit, wait, I've been doing this wrong. He uses his long sword. Never mind, yeah, he hits the goblin for 1d8-3. And, yeah, he just eviscerates another one of the goblins for... Okay, so now we have two down. Now we just... So, Petrick doesn't bleed out. Vaz is now dying. Sweet. Okay, so the first goblin, he is going to try to hit Karkin, but misses. Right? Yeah, he misses. So now the second goblin is also going to try to hit Karkin. And he hits. Oh, shit, dudes. This is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Okay. Well, is that right, it? As as I'm coughing up blood, and I, I look over to Vaz, who, where who's also down, and um, th through coughs of blood and uh, and you know, 
dying. I'm like, who would have thought we would have get ambushed right on the first road after starting our adventure, huh? And, and then I turn back and I say, Harkin brings bad luck with us. We should have never picked him up. And with that, you guys fade into unconsciousness. So a couple hours pass. Fortunately, you guys didn't bleed out on the road. And as you awake, you find the horse is murdered, everything in the cart looted, and all the money you guys had on you missing. Oh my god, what the fuck? So, yep. Fortunately, <laughs> you guys are still alive, and um, at least you have your lives. Unfortunately, so are, we, are we back in town? No, you guys are just, you've woken up on the side of the road with all your shit gone. Hey, do, could we, we, uh... Do we still have the stuff on our, on our, like, inventory, our pockets? Yeah, they just, they took all your money. Okay. Can we, uh, can we treat this like Westworld, but maybe just restart the day? No, man, that's it. You got, uh, like, you got, you got ganked on the side of the road and got all your shit stolen. Damn. So, yeah, what are you guys gonna do? Okay, I look over to I look over to Voss and I say, "Praise Lyra that we're still alive. Everything is, everything happens for a reason. At least we still have the stuff on our on our uh, in our pockets." <clears throat> and uh, Voss looks back to Patrick and says, "Yep, at least at least we still have something. Uh, should we check on Harkin or should we just leave him behind?" Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll check on Clark and see if he's doing all right. You, you guys hear a, leave him behind. Leave him behind. You guys hear a um a wheezing cough from Harkin as he slowly pulls himself up, and uh, it's obvious that he got the worst of the fight right here. Like he's got. All right, I, sh I shout over to Karkin. Hey, Karkin, don't say anything if you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then Vaz Vaz turns to Patrick and puts his hand out for a fist bump. <laughs> Patrick fist bumps Foz back. <laughs> nice, dudes. Nice. So, uh, yeah, guys, great first run. What are you guys going to do now? I'm going to investigate the area, head towards town with all your shit missing. Um, well, uh, Patrick, I, I would recommend for the group that we pick up Harkin. We put an arm around one, oh, one of walk. his arms around. Oh, he can walk? Okay, yeah, fine. He's, just, he's not feeling too good. None of you guys are. Okay. So we, I guess we slowly walk to the, the nearby town. Obviously, we're feeling, you know, we've got a lot of pain going through us, and we're just trying to get somewhere safe at this point, get off the road. All right. So, yeah, you guys, you start working your way towards Fandolin. Um, without the cart, it's a pretty slow and brutal journey. Um, it, take, it takes you about two days, so you guys decide to camp out on one of them. And, oh, um, great. We're going to get fucking ambushed again. Awesome. Uh, it, it was a pretty depressing camp and everything, too. Um, but you guys rest up. You heal all your wounds, so set your wounds back to zero. And um, you got your spells back again. Um, unfortunately, you guys had to eat one of your rations and everything. And uh, morale was pretty low after the brutal goblins just stole all your money and everything you own so make sure you guys set your rations back down to nine instead of ten but in the morning you guys work your ways towards Fandolin, and by midday you finally reach it and all of you feeling slightly better uh spirits after seeing the town for the first time and here we go you guys should be able to see it now the rutted track emerges from the wood wooded hill and you catch the first glimpse of Fandolin. The town consists of 40 or 50 simple log buildings, some built on an old fieldstone foundations. More old ruins, crumbling stone walls covered in ivy and briars surround the newer houses and shops, showing how this must have been a much larger town in the centuries past. Most of the newer buildings are set up on the sides of the cart, which widens in a muddy main street of sorts as it climbs towards a ruined manor house on the hillside at the east of town. As you approach, you see children playing on the town green and townsfolk tending to chores or running errands at the shops. Many people look up as you approach, but all of them return to their business as you go by. So, okay. fortunately you guys get no rewards. And uh, yeah, welcome to Fandolin. So, 
All right, All right, Patrick, now that we're here, what do you think we should do? So are we still, like, uh, wounded? Or did yeah, we, no, like, you guys up? camped out and everything, so make sure you fix your wounds back to zero. And then okay. um, the place you were supposed to drop the card off was Barthin's Provisions. All right. I say we don't go to Barthin's, Barthin's Provisions. I, I second that. <laughs> um <laughs> Because we don't have the cart, so we're not going over there. Hey, Harkins, so, uh, don't speak if you agree. Okay. <laughs> he agrees. He agrees. <laughs> so I think we should go somewhere where we can find information on a uh, on a dungeon or something. Well, what you guys know is that um, when you guys got ambushed, most likely there's probably a goblin hideout near the area. So... Mm. Odds are, if you guys go back there, you might be able to recover the provisions that were stolen and I, mm -hmm. your shit, all the money that was taken, because you guys lost like 94 gold pieces. Okay. So I look to Vaz and I say, we are gonna, we need to get revenge on these goblin scum. Okay, we need to, we need to get the cart back so we can uh, return it to Barthen's provisions and get our gold. So, so we need to, we need to uh, find this goblin hideout. I love the image of you guys walking defeated to Fandolin for like two days. <laughs> you guys get there. You realize We're like, we don't have a cart or any money. We have to find this stuff we just lost. And, yeah. and then so I, we hike two days back. Well, we, we can't. We can't go to the inn because we have no money, and we can't go to Bartha's provisions because we don't have the cart. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to turn back and get revenge. So I, I I look at Patrick and I say, "Wow, I wish somebody had told us that there was a uh, uh, the the goblin camp was still nearby." Yeah, if but, only uh, we knew. If or, only we knew. But now now that just, we've entered this town and just randomly figured that out, I well, say you guys were just so depressed over the last few days that you just. Your, your spirits really got boosted and crashed when you saw Fandolin. So you're like, we gotta we gotta make things right. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, <clears throat> Vaz also says, you know, in my time in the army, we didn't take too kindly to people or creatures stealing from others. So I think I don't know why I'm doing a cowboy accent. He's totally a dwarf. So I think <laughs> I think we should also turn around and go show that goblin scum who's bossing. To not steal from Vaz, Patrick, and Harkin. Harkin, right. Harkin violently nods his head. Yes, he's like he's like pumped right. up. He's like he's just like shaking his arms. Like yeah, let's do this. All right, we're all in agreement. So we, I guess we move towards the Goblin Hideout. Which uh, so well, you guys don't know where it is, but the most likely yeah. clue to find it would be to go back towards the ambush shot site and um, figure it out. Oh my God! Okay, two days. What's so, yeah, you, guys, you guys make slightly better time. It only takes you a day now because you're not as injured or anything. So on about the fourth day, early morning, you finally make it back to the ambush site. And now you guys got to figure out where the hideout is from here. So Okay, so I think we should like look for some tracks or something. I agree. You guys got any skills that might help with that? So, can, can I do like a perception thing? Yeah, you guys can roll perception or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll perception to check for tracks around the uh, ambush area to see if we can find tracks leading back to the goblin hideout. All right. So yeah, just so, uh, oh. which one do I roll? Actually, um, it's really obvious now that you guys look where the goblin trail is. Um, it's kind of embarrassing you didn't notice it the first time. Although if um, any of you were familiar with woodlands, you might actually be able to figure out a little bit more about it. But you've got a general idea and direction to where the hideout is. Okay, we. I say we move towards the hideout, but uh, be cautious about it and make take maybe like st stealthily move towards the hideout. Okay. So we're not ambushed again. We learned so, from our first mistake. So, um, who's marching in front? Who, like, I just need to know the general marching order. Right, I'm marching in the very back. Okay. Um, Daz will march in the front. Okay. I guess. And, okay, and we're like, I, I think we are 
being really cautious this time. Like we have mm-hmm. like we have our eyes peeled and okay. we're like so and, like, we're not we're weapon. not getting we're not getting ambushed again. Right. And we have our weapons already out and we're yeah, on the lookout. Exactly. Yeah. What do you want um Karkin in the marching order? So it's Vaz, Karkin, and then me. Right. Oh actually uh, no 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 I, I, I it's I'm in the middle. So Vaz so and me in the middle. The yeah, Karkin takes it. Well, wait, sh- should we put Harkin in the middle? Because if something does approach us from behind, he won't be able to say anything. <laughs> that, is, that is true. That is true. <laughs> I just imagine him like, getting dragged off and I just keep walking. It's like something got a predator, like we're walking and, <laughs> and then we like we look back to check on Karkin and he's gone. <laughs> okay, yeah. So never mind. I- I'm in the back and Karkin's okay. in the middle. Yeah, just keep, uh, keep an eye on our on Harkin, he's got a disability. We can't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you guys start walking down the trail, and um, after a few minutes, um, about 10 minutes down the trail, Lee, you spot a snare trap, and um, fortunately, you just walk right past it and avoid it because your sharp elven eyes help you notice okay. it. Nice. So, let's see. You guys keep walking down, walking around, and where is Lee? You also notice a second pit trap ten minutes later while you're walking down the trail too, and all you guys just easily walk right around it, and you're fine. And then, a good point after a while, you guys finally get to the beginning of what might just be a hideout. All right, so you guys have arrived at the hideout after a couple hours of work, and um, you see a cave with a stream flowing outside of it and beautiful thicket around the outside, and um, this is probably where the goblins have everything they stole from you, the supplies, the horses, everything. All right, I whispered to Vaz because we're close to the goblin hideouts, so I whispered, we're going to get these goblin scum. We're going to take back what's rightfully ours. And I, I turn back to Patrick and I say, Hell yeah, Patrick. I can't wait to kill me some goblins. And um, Karkin wanted to say something, but he just gives a thumbs up. But both of you guys are looking away, so he just feels excluded at the back. And then, and then, I, and then I, I look back to Harkin and say, Harkin, do you want to say anything motivational? No? <laughs> Screw you two then, Harkin. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Karkin's... Oh, wait, move me in the, in the back. I forgot we said that. Oh. <laughs> Harkin's in the middle, I forgot. That was the whole thing. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess that's it, guys. That's the first session. Yeah, that, that turned out good. I liked it. It did, yeah. It turned out good. We got a lot of people <laughs> it. It, was, it was fun, let's say that. Yeah, it was fun. And then <laughs> next time we'll get into the... Uh, next time we'll get into the goblin hideout. It'll be nice.